Time for another look at our weather with meteorologist Daniel McFarland. And with the heat we're experiencing right now, Daniel, it's even hard. It's just really hard to think about rain. Yeah. But it's out there somewhere, right? Yeah, it's trying to get closer. It's okay. trying. It's most of it's in northern Mexico. You know, they tend to get uh. monsoon first and then it moves up here, but they've had a great start so far, and I think we probably will too. All right. Yep. So this is what we have going on right now. High pressure starting to make its way closer towards the central portion of Mexico, and we have low pressure right where it needs to be over Yuma. Now what that does is that you have the winds in between them at coming out from the south. So what that means for us is that a lot of that humidity that's going to be over the Gulf is going to be pushed closer towards Tucson and the high pressure is also going to push some of that Gulf of Mexico moisture over on the other side and bring it all the way across towards us, which is going to be just a perfect setup for this weekend. Now, how much rain are we going to get? I think it could vary quite a bit. Honestly, a lot of us might even have just about a tenth of an inch of rain. Some others might have a full inch of rain. It depends on thunderstorms with the way things stand right now. I'm not looking at a whole lot of thunderstorm development out there. In fact, today we are seeing just a tad bit of rain around Sierra Vista and Douglas, not even a trace of any kind of thunderstorm development out there. But as we get into tomorrow, I do think one or two weaker ones might be popping up. If you're waiting on any kind of severe storms or things like dust storms really popping off first, that's just not going to be happening at least initially. So for tomorrow, if you're around Douglas, if you're closer towards Wilcox, I'd even put Bisbee and Tombstone in there as well. That's where your best chance of rain is going to be for the day. If you're in Tucson, Nogales, probably even Sierra Vista too, I have in the 20% category. That does mean that we are going to have rain chances, just not nearly as high as what they're going to be having over towards the east. And of course, Ajo and Cells, it takes just a little bit more for them to get rain. I don't really think this system moving in for the next couple days is going to be there. But if we go ahead and talk about who's expecting the rain first, I do think it's mostly going to be around Douglas, Sierra Vista and Nogales. Few showers developing for tonight. Not a ton of rain is going to be reaching the ground. It's just going to be drizzle at absolute best. Now this model right here does have some rain overnight. That's going to be significant because if you get the rain during the overnight hours, you don't get the thunderstorms the following afternoon. What you need for thunderstorms is lots of sunshine and lots of heat in the early part of the day. So if we wake up in Tucson and you either have rain or cloud cover, which this model is predicting right here, I don't think we're going to be having any kind of thunderstorm development for tomorrow. Now that doesn't mean heavy rain is not going to be possible. It just means stronger thunderstorms won't be. At least as we get into your day on Friday, isolated showers for the first part of the day, some pockets of heavy rain during the afternoon. But again, if we see rain this widespread, I think it's going to be a fantastic start to monsoon, which again, last year, the third wettest on record, and we only had about a fifth of an inch of rain in the month of June. We could be seeing more of that tomorrow alone if this model turns out right, which would be fantastic. But again, keep in mind, rain could be lasting throughout the entire day out there. Now I'm going to show you two different runs of the rain for this weekend, and this one only has two, so I'm receiving right around the fifth of an inch of rain. Now it also has a little bit of thunderstorm development closer toward areas like Graham County, Benson, and then all the way down near Sierra Vista, which is why their totals are a tad bit higher. But this other one has higher amounts for Tucson. That's mostly going to be for Saturday. So I'm leaning more towards us seeing a little bit of rain during the morning hours tomorrow in Tucson, plenty of cloud cover out there and not having thunderstorms. But if it clears up tomorrow night and we start to have that humidity hanging around and sunshine for the morning on Saturday, that's when we can see these higher amounts, and that's something we're going to be tracking throughout the day tomorrow. And at least over the next seven days, there is going to be a small rain chance on each one of these. I am most confident about Saturday and Sunday when it comes to rain chances out there. And as far as thunderstorms, it's mostly just going to be Saturday and into the middle of next week. You do see a 10% chance every day for next week, Sean. That's mostly going to be due to the fact that the humidity is in place, but we're not really going to be having a whole lot of winds that are going to be helping us out. But if we do have some rain next week, I'm leaning more towards thunderstorms than the heavier rain more so for this weekend. Boy, I sure hope that that is true. I hope we yes. just see a, a lot of rain coming and, I, and those cool mornings. I mean, 70s will take them. Yeah, after early. we had 81, 82 earlier this yeah. week, that's we'll looking pretty good. We'll see.